sorry this height is 10 mm this height is 10 mm and it, this height is for four points the first point second point third and fourth point which is at a distance along y axis on 20 then again at 40 from o point and 60 from o point so first this is point o then along y axis the first point is at a distance of 20 then second point is at distance of 40 and third point is on 60 so these four points has a height of 10 mm so we will draw one centimeter line from these points parallel to z axis parallel to z axis Now we can see here it is a regular line then from in front view from this O point up to this point this is inclined line which has a horizontal length as 60 but we don't have inclined length right this end point and this is start point this start point has a height of 10 and this end point has a height of 50 and horizontally this end point located at 60 mm from O point right so on x axis take 60 mm mark this point and then Take projection of this point on 50 mm line that is on top surface and then join these points. Join this point and this point. This is the inclined line in isometric. Likewise, parallel to this line, there is a one line, another line from this point to this point. Again, after Connecting these two points, we will get a parallel line parallel to y axis. Okay, so we can remove now this area, this part, which is not necessary now. See, the surface has inclined. Now we will draw this rectangle. The rectangle this point from O point along Z axis is at 15 mm distance and along Y axis it has a 20 mm distance. This is 20. Right? So at X and Y 20, 15 and 20 mm distance. So first this is 20 mm distance already taken on Y axis. From this point draw parallel line. Draw a point. Take a point from this point at 15 mm distance at 15 mm distance parallel to y axis parallel to x axis take this point then so this point is nothing but projection of this point on base surface or base rectangle we can also take here ok take first 15 mm on x axis then take projection on this inclined plane and then draw parallel line from this line and draw parallel line from this line to this line 
so this will be the rect uh, a one point of rectangle this point is here now for second point just draw parallel line to this from this point up to this line this is second point then this, this distance the length of rectangle is 30 mm so, but it is on x axis it is not inclined it is not on inclined line it is on x axis so from o point mark 30 plus 15 45 distance and then take projection of this point on this inclined plane and then take projection then take a parallel line to this line from this point up to opposite side make sure that all lines parallel to y these lines should be parallel to y here there is slightly mistake Now on this line, draw this rectangle, and then parallel to z axis from this point, okay. draw a faint line, then parallel to x axis from this point from this point draw faint line from intersecting point again draw parallel to axis from this point a line now make it dark this is a this is uh, this material is removed as in front view we can see these are the dashed line these materials are removed and after seeing in top view we get a rectangle so this is the inclined rectangle now we have to draw a circle semicircle here semicircle has radius outer radius as a 30 so we have to draw first diameter uh, diameter by diameter rhombus here that is 60 by 60 rhombus so this one side is 60 then this is again 60 so this is 60 by 60 rhombus to draw semicircle we have to locate points as per the whole circle so this is a point of major angle this is major angle 120 degree from this point mark uh, from this point draw line up to the opposite point midpoint opposite side midpoint opposite side midpoint is here at 3 uh, 3 centimeter distance and this is again 3 centimeter distance join this point and this point draw faint line Faint line means construction lines. Construction line should be faint. Again, from this point, this is again 120 degree angle, major angle. The so the opposite line is this. Opposite side is this. So mark midpoint at three centimeter. Also, this is also one of the opposite side. Then draw. Connect these two points, midpoint and major angles point. 
so after get after intersecting after getting this intersecting line we will get two points these are the two points so these are the four center first is here second is here third and fourth these are the four centers now to draw a semicircle we require only two centers first is center number one to draw this midpoint this point to this point and center number two from and radius this from this point to this point so this is a semicircle now connect this line here also this base also has a circle semi circle so take uh, translate this point so we only require this part this quarter circle so to draw this quarter circle we only require these three points first point second point and this center point okay so we have to translate this point at a distance 50 mm so take scale parallel to z axis move towards this, these points from this point mark 5 cm this is a new point number 2 then from this point mark point on 5 cm this is a new point and now from the center point new center point draw semi circle draw quarter circle joining these two points and then draw common tangent to this quarter circle so this is a lower circle lower part of a semicircle then it is invisible part that is hidden part this is complete diagram one circle is remaining this circle has a diameter of 30 and this circle inner circle has a center point concentric with outer circle so first mark the center point of outer circle by joining opposite side midpoint this is center point of outer circle then from this center point on this two line mark distance equal to half of diameter that is equal to radius on both side so this is 1.5 1.5 and this is 1.5 then draw parallel line to this side of rhombus from these points draw faint lines So this rhombus is of side equal to 30 by 30. It is concentric with outer circle, outer rhombus. This is again major angle point. This point is midpoint of opposite side. Connect these points. This is again second midpoint. This is a major angle. This is opposite midpoint major angle and opposite middle point connect this line we will get this intersecting point now we require whole circle inside it 
this two tiny curve two arcs has the same radius then these point number these and this this has the same radius so this is the final diagram now we will draw dimension from center point draw this arrow for radius take it outside right radius equal to 30 then for inner diameter you can draw dim uh, for inner circle we can draw diameter arrow 530 5 symbol for diameter and ra for radius we will use capital R So this is the final answer.